video we're going to discuss some of the reasons why a toy poodle may not be the right breed for you. We're going to look into their exercise needs, any medical issues linked to this breed and plenty of other things that you should seriously consider before potentially adding this breed to your family. Welcome back to the Fenrir Poodle Show. If this is your first time here then my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything that we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Poodle Show. So let's dive into just some of the reasons why you possibly shouldn't get a toy poodle. There are plenty of pros and cons to adding a toy poodle to your family and it's so important to make sure you do your research before purchasing or rehoming any breed. There are so many dogs like the poodle being purchased without this knowledge and then owners soon realise that they don't have the time to exercise or train them or they realise they have a more rigorous grooming schedule and they just don't have the time to accommodate it. There are too many dogs in shelters, so please only commit to this beautiful breed if you are certain that you have what it takes to look after them for the rest of their lives. Toy Poodles are a beautiful little breed to look at, but their coat is very high maintenance. They need to be thoroughly groomed on average every four to six weeks, as well as needing a good daily brush. They have a single layer coat that is curly and can be hard to keep tangle free. Poodles have hair instead of fur and this hair continuously grows. If you don't keep your poodle's hair mat free, when you do decide to take them from a groom to the dog groomer, it will be more than likely to, that they will shave off all of the hair in order not to hurt your poodle. This is why it's so important that you will groom your toy poodle daily. Toy poodles are a bundle of energy and need plenty of opportunities to release this throughout the day. If they don't get the regular exercise and one-on-one -on -one attention that they need, they can start to display a number of unwanted behaviours, such as barking, digging, chewing or trashing your house. Toy poodles are an incredibly playful and certainly appreciate a game of fetch or talk of war at home to keep them physically stimulated. If you can't dedicate enough time to exercise and play with your toy poodle on a daily basis, then this breed may not be for you. Toy poodles need plenty of physical and mental stimulation to keep them busy throughout the day. Mental stimulation can be achieved with plenty of toys like Kongs, treat dispensing balls, hide and slide puzzles and snuffle mats. The poodle is a very smart dog so these toys will need to be switched every few days to stop them from getting bored. Toy poodles are very intelligent and need plenty of training from the moment you bring them into your home. It's important to keep this training consistent and clear as it's very easy for toy poodles to learn bad habits by accident. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with with dogs and providing as much information and helpful valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions so if you are interested i can't wait to see you over on tiktok but in the meantime i'll let you get back to the video you were watching toy poodles are companionship dogs and are best suited with a family who are around throughout the day if they're left on their own for too long without any mental stimulation or toys they can easily develop separation anxiety it's important that you teach your poodle from a young age that it's okay for them to be left on their own. This can be time consuming to teach but is worth it when you have a happy dog. It's also important to make sure that you socialise your poodle from puppyhood to different people, situations, sights, sounds and smells. If you don't focus on socialisation skills you could end up with a nervous, aggressive, unruly poodle who thinks that they're the boss of you and your family. Poodles are very sensitive dogs that can sometimes become hypersensitive. This means they can easily be startled or flinch if they hear loud unexpected noises or they're touched when they don't expect to be. They are also sensitive to family members arguing out loud and can show signs of anxiety and will become distressed if they hear any conflict. Toy poodles do unfortunately come with a list of potential health issues which you should definitely be aware of. Some other health issues to look out for include hip and elbow dysplasia, when the hip or elbow doesn't sit in the socket properly. This will eventually lead to arthritis and cause pain and discomfort for your dog. If not properly treated, this can also lead to lameness. 
Hyperthyroidism develops when dogs have an underactive thyroid and symptoms include loss of fur, lack of energy and weight gain, dry skin, skin infections, shivering and in some cases hyperthyroidism can lead to your poodle falling into a comatose state. Another health issue to look for is leg perth's disease. This disease causes a decrease in blood supply to the head of the femur bone, eventually leading the bone to disintegrate. Symptoms of this disease usually first occur when toy poodles are between four and six months, and it may cause them to limp. This condition can be corrected with surgery. The last issue to talk about is epilepsy when a dog has seizures. These seizures will likely panic your canine, so it's important that you stay calm if this happens. Never put your hand near your dog's mouth if they're having a seizure, as they may bite through fear of what is happening. You should turn off any bright lights and anything that may cause a loud noise. Move any objects that are near to your dog away, and then place a pillow or soft blanket under your dog's head without going near to their mouth. It's important that you time the length of the seizure so that you can pass this on to your vet. Stay close to your dog and stay calm, and then once the seizure is over, seek vet and re-advise. These are just some of the reasons as to why the toy poodle breed may not be for you. It's always important to do your research before you choose any breed to join your family. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you never miss any future updates. We have regular poodle videos dropping every week. So I can't wait to see you all again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Poodle Show.